Okay, first let me introduce myself. My name is Scott Robbins. My call sign is W4Papa Alpha, and I'm the owner of Vibroplex. And uh, we are also the owners of Venture uh, International Radio. Uh, we distribute the Spider Beam line in the United States, uh, various other products. And I'm here to present uh, information on a new product that we're selling under the Inrad line, uh, the Model W1 headset. Uh, I've been an active contester for a bunch of years. I've been a ham since 1982, and uh, I've owned a series of headsets over the course of my ham radio career, none of which I seemed like I was completely happy with, and or I didn't like the build quality or I broke them or a lot of other things. When Inred went into the microphone business here about uh, a year ago, the what we were here at Dane last year, the number one question I got was not really about the microphones we were selling, there were desktop mics, but it was, when are you doing a headset? And, at that time, there was not an answer. Well, today we do have an answer, and this is the new, the new W1. Um, what I tried to do with this is take the things that I would have wanted in a headset <clears throat> and uh, put them all together in one package and sell it at a price that's competitive with the other things that are out there. We have uh, Arlen Radio Sport, Heil Sound. People are using things like the Yamaha headsets that gamers use, etc. So <clears throat> what we have here is I've got a picture on the screen, but I've also got it in my hand. Typical head, ham radio headset. Very comfy ear pieces that we have here. Um, don't like head pieces that press the ears back against the head. You have that on your head for a couple of hours, you get start to get some ear fatigue, start to get some pain. What we wanted was to have ear pieces, as you can see, where the ear fits inside the earpiece. So you put this on, your ears fit inside the cans, instead of having the padding around the cans pressing back on, on your head. Uh, stereo reception, it's left and right, it's not mono. Uh, that's on purpose because a lot of us are running dual receiver transceivers. You want to listen to radio, uh, receiver A in one, receiver B in the other. Or if you're a single op two radio contester, of course, you want to be listening to one radio in one ear and a second radio in the other ear. Microphone element you see here, <clears throat> 600 ohms, uh, which is correct impedance for typical HF transceivers. It's on an adjustable boom. Uh, flat response microphone, 50 hertz to 15 kilohertz, uh, allowing you to use EQ in your radio, external EQ, speech processing, etc. to set up the audio any way you want it. Um, a lot of padding on the top of this headset. Uh, you can see here we've got rubberized foam that's along the top of this. Uh, I don't like little tiny bits of gel on the top of it. I wanted something that was substantial that I could actually feel on the top of my head. Uh, Regardless of what headset it is, whether it's this headset or any other though, you have a headset on your head for several hours, and you're going to start to feel pressure, pressure point on the top of your head. I mean, you can feel the headset, it's pressing down on your head. Um, this headset, we've incorporated a feature that you find in broadcast headsets. You see guys on the SPM, they've often got the headset on their head, straight over the top of their head. But then you can see that sometimes they've got the headband tilted back. So on this particular headset, you can leave the cans vertical, and you can tip the headset back. You can tip it as far as 30 degrees, so if you've got a pressure point on the top of your head and you're uncomfortable, without having to actually tilt the cans on your ears backward, you can just move the headband back a little bit. And you can still extend this up and down like this, even with the tilt feature in use. It's light. It only weighs 13 ounces. Uh, we've got a small piece of steel that runs through the upper top of the plastic headband up here. Uh, another problem with some headsets frankly, is that they're heavy. You put it on your head uh, after hours of use, it weighs down on the top of your head and presses down on your neck. We wanted to make something that was lightweight that was going to avoid that problem. We got an extra long cable on this headset. This cable is seven feet long and it's extendable to nine feet. There's a couple reasons we did this. One is, uh, what you don't want is to have this cable pulling you away from the radio. You want to be able to sit back from the rig, move away from the rig. You have to have some mobility when you're operating a contest because you're not going to be just sitting here in one spot. You're going to be put, pushing buttons, you're going to be retuning the amplifier, there's going to be things going on. We have a coiled section here, a little bit of RF suppression with the coil on there, and then a straight section that plugs into the radio. Uh, the other reason the other reason we did such a long cable is we're now the new uh, official microphone supplier for Flex Radio, and we wanted to be able to coil this around the back of the 6400 and 6600 transceivers to plug in the back. We've got adapters available for every HF transceiver, Icon, Kenwood, Yesu, Elecraft, Flex Radio that you can think of. Please come by our booths at 1607 and 1609 in building number one, and we'd be glad to talk with you more about it. Thanks a lot.